this is your A-Pass update for July 28th. We've got six updates for you this week. Number one, the first one is a big announcement for A-Pass. A-Pass General Manager Dwayne Hove's last day at A-Pass is today. He's been with the organization for seven years and through that time there's been a tremendous amount of growth within the organization and he's done so much to advance the cause of farming and agriculture in this province. Uh, Dwayne has written a farewell message and that is uh, included in the video description below and it's also included in the APAS update email. But uh, on behalf of all of the APAS staff, uh, I'd just like to say, uh, Dwayne, it's been uh, wonderful working with you and having you in the office. And uh, uh, a lot of great laughs and great times uh, were had by all of us. And we wish you the very, very best in your retirement. So well done, Dwayne. Number two, on July 22nd up in Saskatoon, the federal, provincial, and territorial agriculture ministers reached an agreement in principle on the next agricultural policy framework. There's a link in the video description below to the communique that was released from the FPT ministers after their meeting. And APAS also put out a press release after their announcement, so a link to our press release is included in the video description below as well. Number three, there's been a lot of renewed discussion about the federal government's 30% fertilizer emissions reduction target following last week's meetings in Saskatoon. The 30% emissions reduction target was originally included in the Government of Canada's 2020 climate plan, and APAS participated in an initial phase of consultations in July 2021. Uh, a link to Agriculture and Agri-Food Canada's Fertilizer Emissions Reduction Strategy is included in the video description below. And there's also a link to the submission that APAS had put forward to their consultations back in 2021. So you can read that as well. In addition to that, uh, Ag Canada has since included a discussion paper and online survey with an August 31st deadline to provide comments. APAS is preparing a submission to the second round of consultations and planning a few online sessions for APAS representatives to learn more and provide their feedback. So just stay tuned for details and we'll be sending those out soon. Number four, APAS President Ian Boxall was recently in a CTV News story about the federal government's fertilizer emissions reduction targets. Uh, you can watch the video through the link in the video description below. Number five, APAS recently asked the government of Saskatchewan to proclaim July 30th as Food Day Canada in Saskatchewan and they've agreed to do so. So that's very exciting news. Food Day Canada is a celebration of farming and locally sourced food, and we hope you can join us in celebrating food grown and made in Saskatchewan this weekend. And number six, if you've got an RM Council meeting coming up and you'd like APAS update materials, or if you'd like APAS staff or director to come to the meeting with you, let me know and we'll get it set up. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again next week.